Okay, so I guess we don't need to, to wait till till Monday to see the uh, official first trailer for Superman vs. Batman Dawn of Justice. A very, very long name. <clears throat> and I think they did a very good job. Again, people go, oh, it's dark, it's mysterious. Yes, it's it's DC. DC should mind, so now stand for dark comics, because everything they're going to do is going to be a dark movie. So, the things they did well. I do think having the Jeremy Irons talking with Bruce Wayne about almost kind of like the path of madness and fury was great. thought that worked well. It's not Michael Caine yet, but still, Jeremy Irons is very good in that role. And seeing a Ben Affleck who's kind of just like seething. And then doing the shot to the suit, which looks okay. Seeing him in the suit, he looks like... Either he was working out with the rock and just got, or the suit is just. You can almost paint that thing green, put on some purple pants, and be like, "It's Mini Hulk." The 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 background dialogue with Lex Luthor, perfect. As they're showing the slow lighting of the statue, and then it fully illuminates, and it's got like red right down the center of it, and it does have a much more realistic feel. Let's be honest. If Superman were to come to Earth, people would be like, so would be like, that's awesome. Be like, I am scared. This is a dude who can see through walls, who has no oversight, and can do whatever he wants to do whenever he feels like doing it. And that's kind of the, the, the style they kind of get. It almost kind of has that feeling like Batman is going to fight Superman for like the safety and security of mankind. And then they'll become friends and they'll beat the crap out of some bigger, bigger threat. So, yes, it is undeniably the plot of Avengers. Yes, it's taking a huge plot point from that where it's hero versus hero because they don't understand. Yes. This is the reason why everyone fought Thor, because he was the brother of Loki. Loki's a bad guy. Yes, well aware of that. And the fact they only really gave Ben Affleck Batman one line. His Batman voice is okay. I do like the dark smokiness. It is hard to go over the <laughs> gravelness of Christian Bale, but... I do like the fact that like the one line that he used is, do you bleed? You will. After that, I was thinking, I just want to see either the shot of like you know, Batman standing there and Superman swooping in for a hit and then just do Inception horn and then cut. Or if the next shot would have been like, you know, you will, and then it would have showed like Batman standing and, you know, the all like, Superimposing like lightning, like lightning in the background, standing there with you know, like like a Superman kind of like hutched over, like that single drip of blood coming from his face, something along those lines. I can safely say now, I'm excited for this film. I think they're going to hit some of the right notes. I think that's going to be a film that is just what it says. It's going to develop the Batman character a little bit. They don't need to. And Superman's been well established, and in his universe, people kind of question his motives. So instead of being the, the, the really nice black and white that we had for Phase 1 of Marvel, now we're at the gray, which of course was Winter Soldier. DC is going to hit gray. Just gray. They tried to do happy and fun with Green Lantern, people hate it, so they're just going to stick with what they know and what works. Gray.